Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as usual, feel free to check out my personality story, merch store. If you want to see a real life version, I have an INFJ t-shirt here. There are also many other designs for other personality traits. And uh, I also link you to some of the earlier videos where I'm wearing the merch myself. And you know, at Personality Story, we really believe in the diversity of personality. So whether you're intuitive or you are a sensor or you are more on the thinking or feeling side, you have a very important role to play in society's functioning and no personality should be left out. So um, also feel free to check out my Patreon for more detailed information on functions, development, and self-improvement. Today, I'm going to be sharing my thoughts on the ENTP personality as an INFJ. So this is not going to be a video on compatibility in terms of dating. It is more on a video about my thoughts on the ENTP as a whole. So, you know, when it comes to like friendships and also people I know who are ENTPs, um, regardless of, you know, the relationship we have and so on. And just generally my um, understanding of this personality type. So firstly, I want to kind of summarize this personality into one of the categories that I just generally made up myself. I think that ENTP is uh, definitely a disagreeable personality. If you know about like the disagreeable and agreeable um, spectrum, and they are one of those where I consider to be offensive personalities, because ENTPs are well known for you know saying things and being really blunt and honest, and so they can kind of really upset people in the way, um, and they are also just really able to say what they want and and to be really like um, you know they say how they think and they're pretty much an open book it's not hard to understand an ENTP in my opinion because um, whatever they think they say it out loud so you kind of know what their opinions of people are you know what they think about everything basically or most things um, other offensive personalities uh, are like ESTPs and uh, ISTPs, um, maybe also INTPs to some degree. ENTPs like to troll people. I think one common misunderstanding is, you know, when certain personality types do not get along with ENTPs, it's probably because they take them too seriously. When it comes to ENTPs, it's not a good idea to take them seriously because they really are not serious. Um, they enjoy, you know, this uh, provocative nature and they enjoy making fun of people and making fun of themselves. Um, they generally do not um, say things that they uh, actually 100% believe in all the time like you know sometimes they can just say something that is um fun like to talk about or they they make a joke and and it's not like they really uh, believe what's in the joke you know they they literally are just saying that you know as a form of um you know personal entertainment um they find roasting to be a very fun hobby because it is funny they do things for a sense of just like you know um, understanding of other people and also in terms of just yeah having fun and um, I think one thing about this personality is that you know everything to me has a strength and a weakness right and um, my personal theory is that your greatest strength is also your greatest weakness so with ENTPs you know, people would say their, their weakness is probably not being sensitive, but it is also their strength because they are very thick skinned. Um, it is not difficult to uh, be around an ENTP, in my opinion, um, because they generally do not get upset easily and it is easy to uh, talk your how you really think uh, in front of them because they generally do not care enough to be um, extremely uh, affected by it so you know even if you have a very ridiculous opinion or you have a very different way of seeing things they generally are quite uh, open to hearing it anyway 
and um, they don't necessarily have to agree with you they just are fine with hearing it and also TI because uh, ENTPs use TI as a second function they're pretty good at troubleshooting this is kind of working alongside extroverted intuition so ENTPs are really good at you know pointing out flaws in an argument or flaws in a strategy if it's in a company setting they are really good at like telling you when you need to really look at something again like uh, having a self-reflective person to uh, show you that sometimes you know within a group you need that person to tell you when something is going wrong um, you kind of need that disagreeable personality I think people kind of need a balance um, you need the agreeable side and you need a disagreeable side to point out the issues that have to be addressed and um, to not agree with everybody else's opinions all the time um, However, you know, when ENTPs are immature and especially when they're younger, I tend to notice that this issue can cause friction in uh, personal relationships, especially in a dating um, setting. Um, based on my observation anyway, some of the younger ENTPs really do upset their significant other because they are not able to consider their feelings. Um, ENTPs do have a polar um, function FI. So if you know about this, uh, polar means a uh, point of least resistance. It means that they do not value introverted feeling in other people. Um, and generally, they just don't really uh, take note of it at all. And that can be a problem in relationships where you do have to take note of your partner's feelings at least to some degree um, like you don't have to obviously uh, let the feelings control you entirely but you do have to be able to uh, like lessen the conflict and so I think that younger ENTPs have this issue where they will do something that is just you know most other personality types would see as very inconsiderate so for example I know of two ENTPs who used to um, compliment other girls in front of their girlfriends and to me that's like why would you do that right like it's it's kind of like asking for a fight um, and they do it very often too so um, I'm hoping that you know as they grow older that this might change but I don't really have a lot of experiences with like older ENTPs to really say much about this but I think that it's really about balance so you know when they develop the extroverted feeling it probably would lessen the effects of the you know inconsiderate behavior in front of their significant other problem and since they are you know more able to uh, like put other people's feelings into consideration and adapt to the emotional atmosphere and so on and um, another thing is about the NE ideas. So um, if you are familiar with this Greek philosophy, you would definitely have heard of Socrates. So again, I have not done research on the MBTI of Greek philosophers, but whenever I look at Socrates' descriptions, I type him as an ENTP, or at least I get like a very strong... ENTP vibes because he likes to ask for opinions from other people and he likes to do it um, in a way that sometimes it's annoying to some people because they may be just shopping for groceries and then some random dude come up to you and ask for your opinion on like current affairs but he does that a lot and he likes to also ask like a lot of follow-up questions so if you give an opinion, it's not enough. He has to ask, like, why do you think that? And, like, you know, and then he starts to, like, argue back and, and see whether you can, like, defend your arguments. And, it's again, it's not necessarily that they agree or disagree with you. They just want to see, like, you know, how you think. And I think that is very interesting about ENTPs because in my personal experience, ENTPs do like to do that. They like to pose questions rather than have very fixed answers. 
So it's kind of like opposite of other, uh, a lot of many other personalities that are more on like, oh, I have this re really strong opinions and I have to like express it and I have to like get my way, you know, get my opinion across. But with ENTPs, I find it very interesting. It seems to me they are more interested in understanding other people's opinions and also in terms of the argument itself, like not so much on you know, fixing their opinions, but more on like, they want to know why you think that way. And also like, how do you derive at this conclusion? And um, when they question you, they are not questioning you per se, but they're questioning your opinion. So they are able to like separate these ideas with people. And they're really able to have a full discourse as a result of it. Because um, TI is really about entertaining a thought without accepting it. So you know, at the end of the day, they can have their own opinions, but they are also very interested in um, knowing about how other people think about that subject. And I think to them, it's it's something that really fascinates them. And um, because of this, they, they actually are really good debaters because, you know, in a, in a professional debate setting, you're not allowed to choose which position you are for. And so whatever position you're given, you, you basically have to argue that point. And um, I, I find that ENTPs can do really well in such situations, whereas, you know, other personality types may have too much of a personal bias or, or they have a very strong personal opinion. And so it's hard for them to argue for the other side if they are given that stance. And uh, yeah, ENTPs can be really good at banter and debates in general. Um, some of them do have strong opinions as well. I'm not going to deny that. I, I do know of some ENTPs who have pretty strong personal opinions, but I think that generally speaking, ENTPs are open-minded, so they can still change their opinion if you present something that convinces them. Um, they are not very likely to be a hundred percent fixated on something without like any room for like discourse. They are usually pretty chill uh, about discourse, and I think that because of this, it, I I honestly think they are one of the most uh, like easy to understand and and like uh, basically they're an open book, right? I mean they they talk about the, what they think. They are um, not difficult to know uh, because they just talk a lot about themselves and and um, they spend a lot of time just interacting with people and they are very honest too. So it's nothing to hide. Like um, I, I think with you know other personalities, there might be some kind of guessing game going on because you don't really know what they truly think about you. But with ENTPs. I, at least from my perspective, I think it's pretty easy to understand um, where they're coming from. And so, yeah, it's, it is good for um, getting along. Uh, I do get along with ENTPs and um, at, especially after developing TI, I think that's when, you know, like interactions with ENTPs become a lot easier. Also, they develop the FE and so on. Yeah, so... As usual, you know, leave a comment on your experiences with ENTPs and remember to like and subscribe and support this channel whichever way you can because every video takes quite a long time to edit and make. So yeah, I will see you in the next one. Bye!